Good evening, everyone, and welcome again to our weekly uh, open mic for open minds uh, that we've been running since we've all been on lockdown. Obviously, you know, when we were doing, we only did uh, two um, two shows before we ended up getting locked down, both at the Revo Lounge, both fantastically well, well attended and so well supported. Thank you so much to the Revo Lounge for having us. All right, and we're so looking forward to getting back there and using that space, filling up with good people and putting on some really good shows for you in the future. So yeah, we were sad that we can't like be there in person, but even though we are isolated, we can be together. And Candy is very proud to, to be working with the Revo Lounge on this. Wake up in the morning, know it's gonna be Just another morning, waiting to be free Run the empty streets, the river mirrors the sky Birds gather on the banks, hard and dry And I, I wanna be with you tonight Climb the walls and run till dawn to be by your side And I want to be with you tonight I Climb the walls and run till dawn to be by your side Tonight, 
Wake up in the morning, now it's gonna be Just another morning, waiting to be free Round the empty streets, the river mirrors the sky Meet you countryside, where comets and monarchs fly Now, I wanna be with you tonight I climb the walls and run to dawn to be by your side Wake up in the morning, no, it's gonna be Just another morning, waiting to be free The Sculpture Huddled in the light, against the night Holding on, loving In the world for the world, immortalised and safe in bronze, unlike the raw skin reality of fear, love and mess, would that we were bronze. Oh, hey, ma, hey, ma, told about 
you know you mope it up Oh, you wanted it your whole life You back and forth with life I'm going to share some words by other poets tonight uh, just because uh, I not only write poetry but I also read it and I appreciate it and I like to share it. So uh, my first poem this evening is going to be by a poet that I've not long discovered and recommended to me uh, by a friend uh, and I read this um, earlier today and I thought this is so fabulous I've got to share it. And this poet, um, his name is Martin Newell, he's based in uh, East Anglia, he's also a musician and part of band um, and has got a big online presence as well and um, worth checking out. It. So this poem is called In Other News. In other news across those fields the tractor combs the furrows now, the seagulls trail behind the plane and rooks will referee. But further out and further still the word in the regretful breeze is that the townsman rarely sees the greening of those trees. In other news, the sulking sun emerged today from chiffon cloud, her gaze forgot, then beaming down, turned every farrow, furrow lighter brown. Until the birds, emboldened here by lack of traffic in the lanes and absence now of aeroplanes, far from fearing something wrong, began to fill the sky with song. In other news, in other news, the shoppers in their cautious queues began exchanging pleasantries, pleases, thanks, and after use. In other news, the lark ascends, he claims the ides and the calends, as March the noisy tenant goes, a breezy blackthorn blossom snows across the woodland path. On country roads, the ghosts of cars glide soundless after countless years, Till silence settles on the ears like months of Sunday in arrears. In other news, a chilly night, the frost upon the rooftops light, on weekday mornings strangely calm, a dog barks on a distant farm, answering the lambs and ewes in other news. In other news, the morning bus will judder into town unfilled, where bees awake and blackbirds build, in copper beach and churchyard use, now lynchgates yawn and railings rust, the tiny specks of sunlit dust are all that occupy the pews in other news, in other news. Through Leafy Square, down Market Street, a single pair of shoppers' feet goes tapping past a covered stall, and all along the Roman wall, the stone recalls how echoes fall of earlier times and other queues. In other news, in other news.
of my silence I can't hear you But I'm afraid to be near you And I don't know where to begin And I don't know where to begin Somewhere in the desert, there's a forest And an acre before us And I don't know where to begin And I don't know where to begin Again I lost my strength Stone flowers on the table Is it real or a fable? Well, I suppose A friend is a friend We all know How this will end Jimmy Swift that finds me Be my keeper Silhouette on the cedar What is that song you sing for the dead? What is that song you sing for the dead? I see the signal searchlight strike me In the window of my room I forgive you, mother, I can't hear you But I long to be near you Every road leads to an end Yes, every road leads to an end Your apparition passes through me In the willows we find See us again. You'll never see us again. Just like sunlight splits the dark. Just like lovers leave their mark Just like raindrops fill the pail Just like warm winds fill the sail Just like anyone I ever loved that's gone Just like singing you my message in a song Just like never knowing where you belong Goes on and on Just like rainbows Crown the rain Just like heartbreak Tops the pain Just like secrets Left untold Just like having Someone to hold Just like everyone I ever loved Is gone 
Just like singing you my message in a song Just like never knowing where you belong Cause I'm alone Just like dreams that haunt the day Just like friends away just like thoughts of feeling low just like never having anywhere to go just like anyone I ever loved that's gone just like singing you my message in a song Just like never knowing where you belong Goes on and on Goes on and on um, And this is a poem that I've done before It's very close to my heart It's about um, male mental health It's about suicide um, It's about the fact that while we're in lockdown, all of our particular issues that can be exacerbated by sort of loneliness or anxiety and what have you, it's all coming to play even more. And, uh, and this isn't a hidden killer because it's happening more and more. But this was written by a friend of mine for a friend. And that friend of mine, his name is Mark O'Donnell. And this poem was written by him um, shortly before he passed away. Not a suicide, I should imagine. This is a, his own personal experience. But I think that, uh, you know, when people write great poetry or great things, um, it's a form of immortality. And so performing his work helps to keep him alive in my mind and what he achieved. I like the lovely, lovely guy, sadly. Next. So this is For Crying Out Loud by Marco Dong. I'm 55, I'm 6 foot 2 and 16 stone, a proper bloke, I don't break down, I hide my fears, I don't shed tears, I find a way, except when all the kids were born, because that's okay, you're allowed a manly tear in the delivery room, and no one calls you gay, as long as it's a noble tear, a single streak, just enough to wet your cheek, and show the world that underneath, you're a soft old daddy, loving, proud, just please. Don't spoil it and cry out loud. A noble tear, a single shriek, streak, nothing that makes you look too weak. Sniff if you must, dab your eyes, sobbing though, well, that's unwise. Do it quietly, don't fuss or bawl, it's best you make no sound at all. Even in intensive care, you can read the posters on the wall, while in the bed your wife's dad pull, slips mildly away while you stare, and they all thought. I didn't care. Even when we buried Dad, I showed the proper kind of sad, dignified a tear or three, nothing that embarrassed me. Some thought I wasn't sad enough, a little steely, a bit too tough, maybe even insensitive. I didn't mention the sedatives, the drugs I took to mask the pain that tore a hole right through my brain. And in the middle of the street one night, when unbidden, all my buried fears decided they would not be shackled, and after all the years that I had been too scared to tackle them, they escaped by blowing out the fuses that kept my wiring insulated from myself. It started with a single thought that wouldn't let me go, an image of my little daughter, naked and alone. On the all, I know that none of it was true, Still the thought persisted, and the more I tried to let it go, the more the thought insisted, until it jumped from my head and dragged me down, onto a wheel that turned with ever greater, greater speed. My breath was smothered, I couldn't tell one heartbeat from another, and then suddenly it became quite clear to me that I was going to die right here, right now, on this dark street I would expire, torn apart 
on a wheel of fire. From inside my fearful mushroom clay, I broke the code, I cried out loud, Oh God, please stop this, please, please make it end. A couple coming round the bend, crossed the road to the other side. If I had tripped and fallen, snapped a bone, they'd have stopped and phoned for help. But it was my mind that I had fractured, and that's self-inflicted or manufactured. At six foot two and sixteen stone, you blub in the street, you get left alone. Best be like Nigel, silent, strong, safely buttoned, nothing wrong with Nigel. Until he didn't pick me up for work that day, that afternoon, near Runswick Bay, they found him in his car, looking out to sea, and eight feet of hose through which he breathed his last and died exhausted. At the funeral, Jane, his wife, cried most, while her children searched for Daddy's ghost. His father looked torn in half, but never shed a tear. He slapped me on the back and laughed. It's good to see all his friends here. It would have made his mother proud, and still none of us would cry out loud. If you ever have to stand beside your best friend's grave, I hope that you were man enough that you've been brave and had already told him how you loved him, told him how you felt. At twenty-five and six foot two, you can choose to fold the hand you're dealt. Don't wait till you're fifty-two and sixteen stone and standing on a street alone while the total sum of your life's fears comes pouring out of both your ears. Until it forms at your feet into a pool that's deep enough to drown you while the people all around you cross the street to the other side because, like you, they are weak with pride, too scared to own themselves, too kind to be a man and cry out loud. R.I.P. Mark O'Donnell Just to see if you're better New York is cold but I like where I'm staying There's music on Clinton Street all through the evening And I see that you're building your little house Deep in the desert You're living for nothing now you keeping some kind of record And Jane came by with a lock of your hair She said that you gave it to her The night that you planned to go clear Did you ever go clear? The last time I saw you, you looked so much older Your famous blue raincoat was torn at the shoulder You've been to the station to greet every train You came home alone without a lily in my lane And you treated my woman to a flake of your life When she returned She was nobody's wife And I see you There with a rose in your teeth One more thin gypsy thief Well I see Jane's away Sends her regards Now what can I tell you My brother, my killer What could I possibly say Guess that I miss you I guess I forgive you Glad that you stood in my way If 
you ever come by here With Jane or for me While his enemy is sleeping And his woman is free And thanks For the trouble you took From her eyes I thought it was there For good So I never tried And Jane came By with a lock over your hair She said that you gave it to her That night that you planned to go clear Did you ever go clear? You wouldn't know love if wild horses pulverised your sano-atrial node into hallucinogenic stardust, powered from a diamante spoon into the mouth of Aphrodite and broadcast the whole event on Smooth FM. You wouldn't know remorse if it chewed your earlobes in an orange room packed with unpacked suitcases, shredded litigation transcripts and the autobiography of Judas Iscariot serialised on a tannoy next to your bed of nails. You wouldn't know respect if Otis Redding was your gardener. You wouldn't know joy if a convoy of hot air balloons swept you across the solar system and dropped you in a moonlit port in time to sling champagne bottles against a ship carrying sherbet. You wouldn't know longing if 16 orphans stitched you into a corset of viola strings and plucked you in E minor. You wouldn't know I missed you because I never tell you that I do. about you they just don't Timmy you know you want to you know you want to
I love you. in lockdown and a zombie I've become, staring out of windows or at TV station reruns. Mind has succumbed to a Facebook frenzy of cats and dogs and endless jury. Folks trying to relieve the endless pressure with families in chorus and own fitness for leisure. Respers with tin foods we kept on high shelves, photos and memories to hop back to our youths. And just as you forget the state we're in, Images and scenes flicker between. Places all empty, no kids on our streets, and hospitals struggling to stay on their feet. Horror and terror each news flash conveys, with no family members to grieve at your graves. But I am a lucky one, locked in my house, safe in the knowledge I can keep the disease out. No contact I have with the world at this time, and I keep myself safe and look on from the sidelines. My food is delivered, my cupboards are full, and as I wash my hands well, I keep away from my door. But I feel for the workers, with no choice at this time, but to face down the enemy, put themselves on the line. With or without the protection they need, to keep out the virus that spreads at great speed. To deliver your food, look after the sick, take care of the old, and work on the streets. So maybe we'll realise what life is about. Not many are spending a big fancy home, sun holidays, Botox, or expensive colognes, but family and friends, and cooking from scratch, and washing our hands to a song from the past. Thank you. So we put together a show that I think hope you'd be really happy with. We want to encourage you to keep sending us material, all right, um, uh, and to getting it out there. And that means you, anything, especially the youngsters, you know, let's get those kids creating and sharing. 
putting it out there, starting early. Um, you know, because like sort of, you can never start to be creative too early or too late. Yeah, there's room for all of us uh, in this thing. Okay, so uh, thanks very much for listening to me. Um, and thanks very much for joining us again this evening. And thank you for all the thousands of people who've been viewing the videos that have gone online. It's just been fantastic. And, uh, you know, so from me and all the good people that can do who help to make this possible, and to our partners, and when we get back up and running um, out there in the real world at the Revo Lounge, thank you, everybody. And a very, very good evening to you. Bye bye. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but it seems very appropriate for the time. Where's the love song to set us free? Too many people down Everything turning the wrong way around I don't know what love will be If we stop dreaming Lord knows we'll never clear the cloud. You've been so busy lately that you haven't found the time to open up your mind and watch the world spinning gently out. Feel the sunshine on your face Send a computer now Gone to the future Way out in space And you've been so busy lately That you haven't found the time to open up your mind and watch the world spinning gently out of time. Tell me, am I dreaming or are we out of time? We're out of Nice one, Lomox.